Hey guys, so again, <laughs> I was on the Overwatch subreddit today, and right now this subject is blowing up like crazy. This is probably one of the most talked about subjects that I can that I can even remember. To be honest, it's just so much input that people have for this topic of that is the ranking system of Overwatch and the competitive aspect of it, and how it's all going to be tied together by release or or uh, post launch of the game. So a lot of people are really, really concerned, but at the same time, we feel like voicing our opinions now before the game comes out because we haven't had too much time with the ranking system that, that, that they've implemented for the beta. And of course, not a lot of us are even in the beta to begin with, so not a lot of us get a chance to actually experience it firsthand. But we know about the beta. We know what you have to do to get to what rank. We know how many matches it takes, what kind of win percentages is that you need to get to that rank. We know. And a lot of us don't like it, and I'm definitely one of those people. So now, like I said, a lot of us haven't really gotten a chance to get into the beta, myself included. I'm not in the beta right now, but I have gotten a chance to actually play the game for about an hour or so. Luckily, a friend of mine got in and, and he gave me the opportunity to actually play. And while I was playing, I, I realized just not only how fun this game is in terms of gameplay wise, but how much fun I'm going to have ranking up in, 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 in ranked mode and I know a lot of people are going to have that same feeling that I have when, when, when they first pick up the game and they first we have to play and they want to get better they want to play competitively a lot of people are going to play just for fun which is fine but for the people like us who want that core really you know PvP one to one like we want a team and we want to rank up and we want to get better together as a group that's what people want that's what I want that's what a lot of us want but the current ranking system that they have right now for Overwatch is kind of, it's not really based off of skill as a player. It's not even really based off of, I mean, I guess you could say it is more based towards skill as a team. Because you could easily get a better team and then just win more and, and rank up regardless of, of your personal skill level. But the way that they have it implemented right now is kind of backwards in my opinion. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to give you a brief example of what it's like to to rank up in, in Overwatch for right now. So basically, there's tiers in Overwatch, kind of very similar to Counter-Strike, very similar to League of Legends, very similar to whatever other ranking game. Most games have you know a, a, a tier list, not really a tier list, but a, a ranking list that, that, you can, that you're placed in at the beginning of the season, and you have to work your way up to the top. That's usually how it works, right? Challenger, I believe it's Challenger, mm, Expert, Masters, and then Heroic, I believe, is how it goes. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And basically, the way that Blizzard has it set up is that, in a nutshell, I'm going to make it really simple for you guys. In a nutshell, you can't move backwards, pretty much. There's no demotion. You, you can't really get demoted from Masters to Expert or expert to challenger or heroic to match like you can't go back that way there's just none of that which is really strange to me um i guess i understand why they did it maybe it's because they want people to have more fun i guess it is more fun when you aren't you know when you're all, all the way in masters and you get demoted all the way back to challenge that's not very fun but that's kind of the whole reason why we have a ranked mode you know that's that's why we have this that's why this this game mode exists so that people who are at that skill level uh, who might have been at you know heroic at one point but stop uh, playing for a year and a half can go back and you know start a challenger i really don't want it to be like this i don't want it to be filled with casuals that are just you know in heroic simply because they've played enough matches and they never get demoted anymore so that would that would that would just suck for me i, I want to i want to feel like i've actually gotten to where I am because I'm a good enough player, not because, oh, I played 150,000 matches, so therefore I deserve to be in Heroic. Like, no, that's not how it works. You can play as many matches as you want, but if you're not good enough to be in Heroic, you're not going to be in Heroic, and that's that's where it should stop. If you're not good enough to be in a rankings, in a certain rank, no matter how many games you play, you're not going to get in that rank because you're just not good enough as a player. We're not going to talk about the fact that they have one month season. That's stupid beyond belief. That's a whole other debate. I kind of I think they'll probably change that. That's not really something that's too hard to change, as, as it's not as difficult to to redo as an entire infrastructure of a ranking system, system that they've already somewhat implemented. 
it's not completed yet, but for the most part, this is how it's going to play out. So I think the length of the seasons can easily be changed, and I hope they change that to like more like four or six months. That's another story, but for the actual infrastructure for the ranking system that they have right now, it's just not very intuitive. It's, it's catered too much to the casual market and not to the people who are really serious about this game. But that's pretty much it, guys. It's been a long-ass video. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys want to do, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Deuces.